everyone on YouTube. Today's Thursday and last Sunday I changed these drums, shoes, and cylinders. And you can see that these brand new drums after four days are already showing heavy signs of rust. So what we're going to do is we're going to sandblast these, then we're going to paint them. So first step is going to be to take these off and get them over to the sandblaster. So here we are with the homemade sandblasting cabinet. I got it on a chair so it's about eye level for me. And I've got a little sand gun. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up and it's just going to be like painting back and forth, smooth and easy motions. All I'm really trying to do is get this rust off and some of this a little smoother from the casting. Done with the sandblasting, we're going to hit it with some brake clean and wipe it all up. And then we'll grab some sandpaper and just do any fine touches we need to do. So we've sandblasted and you can see from before we got rid of a lot of that rust on both sides. We've cleaned them with brake clean a few times, and then I took some fine sandpaper and I just gave them a little go over. So the next step is we're gonna take this paint. So what this paint, it's an epoxy primer, and what that's gonna do, that's for high heat, and that's gonna allow us to use just a regular paint on these. So the instructions had me shake this up for two minutes. Up here was a little red knob that I used to push this pin in, and I shake her up again, and now this has a four day shelf life now that it's been mixed. So I'm going to do my spray on here, let this dry, and then we'll come back with the paint. Now I have three coats of the high heat epoxy based primer on the drums. Now I have three coats of Pepsi Blue that my local shop was able to make up for me in a spray bomb. And finally the drums are back on the car. Now I know this isn't a project that you need to do, but it was a fun way for me to kill an afternoon and a nice way to make a video. Enjoy.